What is your problem? You just expect me to stand here and watch our son date some midget? You might as well be dating Dobby the house elf. Throw a sock at her and she'll be screaming, Tanya is free! <laughs> You got any tiramisu for me later? Whoa, somebody's dressed up. Oh, honey, look at you. You look so handsome. It's because he takes after his dad. But you get your manners from your mother. So where's the young lady? We're dying to meet her. Yeah, you kept her from us for the past three months. She must be special. She is. She's really special to me. So you think she's the one, huh? Well, I wouldn't bring her here if I did. What do her parents do? Well, it's just her mom. Her dad died when she was really young. But her mom is a doctor at Eisenhower Medical Center, and she's working on getting her master's so that she can be a doctor too. She loves helping people. Wait a minute. She's a doctor? Like one of those smart people? What the hell is she doing with a guy like you? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I ask myself that question every day. Whatever happened to your ex? She was really pretty. Yeah, she was. But looks aren't everything, Mom. You're telling me. I'm joking, I'm joking. It's just the soda talking. You're interrupting our son. Well, to be very honest, Justine was just completely toxic. And the new girlfriend? What makes her so special? It's just the little things. I mean, she helps me in everything. She's always there for me and she supports me in everything I do. That's her. I, she's downstairs. Well, bring her on up so we can meet the young gal. Okay. We're gonna have a doctor in the family. Do you think I can get my medication for free? Hey, do you think she has an older sister? No, she doesn't. Shh. Mom? Dad? I'd like to meet my girlfriend, Talia. Oh! oh. Jesus! What? It's nice to meet you guys. Dylan has told me so much about you guys. Oh my god. You had me going for a sec. For a moment there, I thought she was actually your girlfriend. Oh my God. This is actually my girlfriend, Dad. This is my girlfriend, Talia. I see what he meant about it's the little thing. Excuse me. Your dad's just being silly. It's nice to meet you, Talia. I'm Mrs. Cannon. Nice to meet you too. COVID, can't be too safe. Dylan says you're going to school to be a doctor. Is that right? Oh, he's a jack a little bit, but I get my doctor's degree. But I do love working with kids, so I want to be a pediatrician. Oh, work with someone your size? You can see them eye to eye? Dad. <laughs> no, I just love helping with kids. I had a rough childhood growing up, but not only just with my own health, but psychologically, it was nice to have doctors there to help you get through things. Well, I guess they help you growing up being extremely disrespectful to my girlfriend right now. Apologize to her. Just saying what everyone else is thinking. No, wrong. Now I have to admit, I was a little bit in shock because I wasn't expecting to see a small person such as yourself. But none of that matters. The only thing that matters is that you make Dylan happy. And Howard, you're being extremely ignorant right now. Dan, can I talk to you in private? No. Hold on. Just tell me straight up. Do you need money or something? Because you can always come to me or your mom if you need money. You don't need to date a girl for money. Is that what you think this is? <laughs> you think I'm dating her because she's a doctor? News flash for you, Dad. I'm dating her because of who she is as a person. I love Talia because of the way she makes me feel inside. Now, I don't know what happened to you in your childhood to where you have some kind of prejudice for her and her height, but I'm not going to stand for it. Maybe you can help her stand. I can barely see her in there. <laughs> I 
you disgust me. And mom was right. I did get my manners from her. Come on, let's go. Mom, you need to talk to your husband. Because as far as I'm concerned, he's not my father anymore. If you need to reach me, I'll be at Talia's. What is your problem? You just expect me to stand here and watch our son date some midget? You might as well be dating Dobby the house elf. Throw a sock at her and she'll be screaming, Talia's free! You are a disgusting human being right now. I can't even believe I'm married to you. You are sleeping on the couch tonight and every other night until you can find how to have some respect for some people. Gee. Was this something I said? Hey babe, you shouldn't listen to anything he says in there. My dad is an asshole. And an alcoholic. But he's just a loser. Don't listen to anything he has to say. No, it's okay. I, I haven't heard somebody talk to me like that in a long time. But I'm a tough girl. I could take it. Yeah, but it's, it's not even that. It's just... He has no right to talk to people the way he does. And sometimes I just... I want to punch him in the mouth for what comes out of it. Well, violence doesn't solve anything. But if it did, I'd help. You know, I wanted to do this in front of my parents, but I can't wait any longer. Wait any longer for what? For this. You make me the happiest man on earth and marry me. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Mom. They better be calling to apologize or I don't want to hear it. Hey, Mom. He's choking and he's coughing. I think he might have drank too much. What? Oh my Whoa, God. Wait, slow down. No, what do you mean no, he's choking? No, no, no. Mrs. Cannon, it's important that you do not let him fall asleep on his back. Make sure he sits upright. If he passes out, lay him on his side. This is super important. You do not want him choking on his stomach. Call 911. We are on our way. I can't thank you enough for the advice you gave. You saved my husband's life. No problem. I just want to make sure Mr. Cannon's okay. Well, aside from dehydrating my brain and losing a few more brain cells. <laughs> look, Talia, I need to apologize to you for last night. I could blame the alcohol, but I need to take responsibility for myself. I was rude, intolerant, and prejudiced against you. And really, I was just projecting my own insecurities on you. You saved my life, and I can never repay you for that. Well, there is one way you could repair. You come to our wedding, sober. Done deal. We're all a family now. Awesome. Bring it in. We hope you guys enjoyed today's life lesson with Louise. Make sure to like and subscribe to this channel so you get notified every time we release a new video. And as always, make sure to share this with someone that you love.